Grandma? Oh. Louder. Say hi, Grandma. Boy. Yeah. Can you say hi, Grandma? Boy. Now those Boy. are called buttons. 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 All kind of buttons. Buttons. Yes. Well, Andy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. A little bit later, we'll have to sing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. What's that? Now that's where you can hear it out of. Uh, earlier today, Andy Get went ahead. Back. Yeah. Andy went ahead and opened your present. He could not wait. <laughs> and Andy loves the cars. In fact, right here, he's got the van and the trailer and a green car on it. You like your van? Go. Yeah, isn't that a good trailer? Trailer? Yeah. Grammy. Grammy? That's what he calls Grandma. Gram yeah, that's right. We're talking to Grandma. Grammy. Gra Grandma Orr. Boy, boy. Yeah. Bad. No, don't touch that. Can you say, Andy, Andy, boy. can you say Grandma Orr? Uh, Andy, can you say Grandma uh, Orr? Uh, uh, no. Uh, tomorrow, let's uh, see, I keep interrupting myself here. Uh, Bonnie and Amy have to go down to get their uh, eyes checked. And Andy's going down. And tomorrow is his birthday. How old are you going to be? Two. Van. You're going to be two. Van. Van. Yeah, Van is so good. He Trailer. Trailer. Yeah, a van and a trailer and a car. Van. Oh, that van is so nice. Andy loves those cars. Van. He's been playing Andy, with them. Daddy. Oh, yes. Hey, Andy. I have a picture now of all the girls and Andy. Who's this? Who's this? A B C D E F G. A B C D E F G. Yeah. Who's this? Who's this? Grammy. Yeah, we're talking to Grandma. Can you say hello, Grandma? Hello, Grandma. <laughs> a boy. Oh, those are buttons. Boy. Those are buttons. Uh, the girls have been practicing on some songs that they're going to be playing for you. Uh, tomorrow night is Andy's birthday and he's going to have a cake. Oh, we're going to have a good time tomorrow on Andy's birthday. Yeah, we'll have cake and oh, it's going to be so good. Uh, I'm going to have everybody talk to you a little bit here. So I think I'm going to go get Sarah and have her talk to you a little bit. Okay? Let's go get Sarah. Okay, uh, Sarah's here now and Andy's still around, so you may hear that little voice. Hi. And you can hear in the background Rachel doing some practicing. <laughs> I think you heard Sarah a while back. Now Rachel is practicing. Okay, Sarah, why don't you tell Grandma Orr a little bit about school. What's been happening? Well, I've had two book report, reports so far. And then... Uh, tell, tell her what books you read. I've, the first one that I've read was oh, Charlotte's Web. And then this one that, um, that I've read is um, The Little Broomstick. And then she's got a new book. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, she likes that one. That's a good one. Okay, uh, let's see. Tell about uh, Halloween, what we did for Halloween, the carnival. Oh, that when we met the um, Halloween carnival, Mom, she worked in this football booth, and then we went around, and I went into this haunted house. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm never going to go in. To the haunted house again. <laughs> Sarah, got scared. Sarah got scared in the haunted house. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, what are some of the things you did at the carnival? Tell Grandma what you did at the carnival. Some things. I did a tootsie pop um, toss, and I got. How, how did that work? How did the tootsie pop? Toots. What is it? Tootsie pop. Uh huh. Toss. Oh, toss. Tell her how that worked. Um, I 
and while you hit, there's um, on this board, it's like um board. They um had all these Tootsie Pops on them, and they give you three rings, and you're supposed to try to get them on. Um, get them on. You're just supposed to try to get a ring on the Tootsie Pops. And then I got one. I got one Tootsie Pop. You did? Did Amy get one? Uh uh. She did. I took it instead. Oh. <coughs> did Rachel get one? Yeah. I thought Rachel did get one. What else did you do? Well, when uh, we when we got stuff with our tickets, they mean let me have one first because I only had two tickets. Yeah, let me explain a little. Let me explain a little bit about the tickets. Uh, at the carnival over there, when you do these games, if you do, if you like, uh, make a basket or something or whatever they have you do, they give you these tickets, and then at the end, you trade the tickets in for prizes. And Amy let Sarah have one of her tickets, and she got, what'd you get now? A little pencil. Oh, a pencil, yeah. It was a real neat pencil with a little thing hanging on it. Okay. Uh, and, of course, it is Sarah's birthday coming up very soon. Tell Grandma what we're going to do for your birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to invite a friend over, then we're going to go see E.T. and then... Well, tell Grandma what E.T. is. It's in this movie. It's a movie, okay. What else are you going to do? And when I go home, we're going to go home and then have a cake and a party. And what are we going to do the next day? We're Me gonna and go, you. We're going to go to uh, the, I mean, Mom and John Silver's. Yeah, Sarah and I, Amy this year, I took Amy for lunch after church. And now Sarah and I are going to go out to lunch. And we're going to have a real good lunch at Long John Silver's. Uh, of when your package came for Sarah, Mom hid it. So Sarah has to wait and open it. I told Grandma that Andy opened his a day early. But you have to wait. I don't know if Sarah can hardly wait. Can I open just one? No, no. She did open Aunt Ruth's present. Tell, tell Grandma Ark what Aunt Ruth gave you. She gave me this ring and... A little doll or something? Yeah, a little like ornament. A little ornament doll, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sarah is going to... Uh, the kids have already had their school pictures taken. And Sarah is going to uh, send her a picture. And of course they will send you one. Well, okay, let's see. I think maybe Sarah will stop a little. Sarah's not very talkative tonight. Mm -hmm. Sarah works better on the telephone where you can ask her questions. Okay, let's see. What, we'll, what I'll do now is we will wait until Rachel's done and I, ha I will have her talk to you. So in the meantime, we will stop. Okay, this is, uh, I think, maybe a couple of days later here. It is November 5th, and this is Andy's birthday. And we had a good birthday dinner, and Andy opened some presents this year. Andy got all trucks. Hey. Yeah, do you want to say hi, Grandma? Oh, Grandma bought your dump truck. Hi, Grandma. Look at boom. Buttons. Buttons. Yeah, say hi, Grandma. I can get you. Later. Okay, and maybe Andy will talk a little bit more later. Uh, right now, Sarah and Amy are going to play Onward Christian Soldiers.
Okay, didn't the girls? Okay, I'll tell you who is playing where on the piano. Obviously, I was not playing. I was, uh, yes, I was playing the tape recorder. Uh, Sarah was playing the higher notes, and Amy was playing the lower notes. Okay. Uh, yeah, later what we'll do is, later we'll have each one of the girls play one of their songs for you. This is going to be a very good recital, I think. And I tell you what we might even do. We might even sing for you a song that we're going to sing at our annual New Year's Eve extravaganza. We are going to be singing some good songs here. Okay, Aim's going to play her recital piece now. What's it called, Aim? It is called, she's not sure what it's called. It's by Beethoven. This is the theme from the second movement of Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 5. Now, I know all of you uh, will recognize what that is. So, uh, here is the eldest of the Orr girls, Amy Marie Orr. Okay, Rachel is going to play hers now. Everybody seems to be in the mood here to play a piano piece. And Andy is jumping all around here. Hey, Rachel, you have to be careful. Andy is jumping all around. Mm. Yes, this is Sonatina. Son one of my favorites, Sonatina. Sonatina is being played for you tonight by the youngest daughter of Korean descent. Her name is Rachel Joyce Orr, now at the keyboard. Rachel Joyce.
That was Rachel Joyce. Okay, Sarah Althea will come up now. Sarah, what song are you going to be playing? The minuet. The minuet. Sarah is playing the minuet from where? It's from an opera. Don Juan. Don Juan. Okay. Now, I would like to present the middle daughter. Her name is Sarah Althea Orr, also of Korean descent, but now an American citizen. beautiful, wasn't it? Okay, uh, I think we're going to have a little guest artist. Oh, yes, we'll sing our song now. Okay, come on, Aim. We're going to sing a song. This is a song that uh, I sing with my... They missed the motion. With my assistance my group okay okay <clears throat> just a minute we got to get situated here uh, when we do this for our New Year's Eve extravaganza the girls will be doing little motions like one of the singing groups okay here we go this song is called man we're mad Someone socks me in the eye And they don't even tell me why That makes me mad Yeah, we're angry, very, very angry And when I'm walking down the street And someone stomps up on my feet That makes me mad Yeah, we're angry, very, very angry Well, my hands start shaking And my knees get weak my voice sounds funny when I try to speak And I don't want to see no one till next week when I get mad Real mad When someone tries to climb a tree and then I fall and hurt my knee That makes me mad When I see some girls and boys and they don't want to share their toys, that makes me mad. Well, I feel so angry that I want to roar. I want to run home and slam the door. And I don't want to see nobody no more when I get mad. real mad well when I get mad my face turns red my hands stand up on the top of my head my eyes 
start crying it's a terrible scene and i want to let out a scream I see some kids at play and they tell me to go away. That makes me mad. Very, 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 very my brother's yaddy as can be and then my mother yells at me. That makes me mad. Very, 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 very well, I feel so mad that I stamp and shout. I scream and yell and I frown and pout. Now our song is done and you've learned about being mad. Real mad. Real mad. Okay, what we're going to do right now is we're going to let the daughters sing some songs that are that will be a part of the new year's celebration this first one is called i love That's one of the songs called I Love You, or I Love, rather. Now, the other song is from the movie that we saw uh, when we were there this summer, Annie. And this is one of the songs from that, okay? The, ti the title of it is You're Never Fully Dressed Without a Smile.
Well, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit on this side. Rachel's going to be in here in just a little bit to uh, talk to you. We uh, This is Sunday night, and we just got home from church not too long ago and finish eating. Usually we eat after church is over. Okay, I kind of got interrupted here. Andy was screaming, and I had to take care of him. Uh, Rachel is going to say a few words. Rachel hasn't talked yet. And even though we talked to you on the phone Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. Rachel still can uh, probably has a few things that she can tell you. I'll tell her about what school is and oh. the other teacher before. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, well, um, one day on, fr on Friday, um, my teacher, Mrs. Henley, she woke up, well, her son woke up, and he was really sick. And so she went to school for a little bit, and her husband stayed home at, at home by, by her son, by their son. And the, so she came and told us our new te our teacher for the day. Her, his, um, his name was Mr. Um, Henwood, and he was he really... Was substitute? Uh, he was my substitute, and he was a really good teacher. Because he told us that to keep busy, like at math time after I finished, he, um, I wrote down some problems and he gave me a paper to do with takeaways. And um, at reading, we're, we could write stories and all that kind of stuff. And play games at, with words, but you always got to get yourself busy. Then we had snack and he told us that we had to be quiet when we, um, when we had snack. Then we told him that we can talk at snack, but he said quietly. And then we went out for a recess, we, then we went to the library and, and all that kind of stuff. And he, and he was out for yard duty and it's pretty fun. Um, I have, I, I really do have a fun time. I, I enjoy my teachers, all the teachers that I have. I had uh, one time this teacher, and her, and her name was Mrs. Pym. And she was, was she really, another substitute? Uh huh. And she had a, and, and Mr. Hanboard, I remember before he said, if, if we keep ourselves busy and we're really good after lunch, after our recess, uh, we'll, we'll see a movie. And Andy. we did. And with Mrs. Pim, she had some marbles and and she had a jar, and we had the board, <coughs> the board, board. It's called Reach for the Sky, and they're like little round balloons. Mm. And um and there's and then we have these round these round things that go over the blank ones, the colors. And if we get all the marbles in the jar and all the balloons up, we would get to see a uh, movie or something like that, and we did. Mm. Sometimes our class, sometimes, sometimes our class gets noisy. Sometimes it gets, um, sometimes it gets, it's quiet. But when, but one time, um, we in the classroom there was a water beetle. There was uh -huh. in your classroom. Mm-hmm. Wow, I don't know how I got in there. I don't know though. And then Chris, and it was under my best friend Chrissy's desk in the other boy's desk. Um, ben, Ben and Chrissy sit by each Who got other. It? Well, Mrs. Henley told Ben and Chrissy don't sit down because they because the beetle might like crawl up um, their leg or something. Oh, no. And so, and all the kids are looking under the tables, looking at him, and and then the and then the rest of the day we were, we were sort of loud and like that and wild because and she told us is it because you saw a water beetle today or something and um. And that's it, I guess, for school. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else you been doing? Um, how's, uh, how is uh, piano coming? Oh, piano. Piano is good. One day, um, I was on this, um, I was on a song, and I got a star on it. What then, song was it? Um, the Alice Quince or something. Oh. The Alice Quince or something. And um, then I went over to, a, to a, this other song. And then I got a star on that one right, right when I played it. Oh. Then I got a, and then I was on the next, the next song. And then after a while, I got a star on that one. Now I'm on a different song. And um, you're playing a lot of songs, huh? Uh huh. And 
I'm doing this um, song for, for the recital, these two songs, by Sonatina and What's the other one you're doing? I don't know Joy to the World. Oh, you are? Uh-huh. Because oh, it'll different. be the Christmas one. Oh, that's right. And I did want to do this other one, the Alice Quince, but I can't. Cause Mom, because I know the whole Sonatina song, and Mom wants me to do it. Oh, yes. But I want, but I want to do the Alice Quince because I love that song. So much. That sonatine is good, Rachel. Mm hmm And after that, I probably can play some other songs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's good, Rachel. Okay, well, Andy Boy is up in my lap here. You want to say hi, Grandma? I can piece of the on the paper. No, Andy. Buttons. Buttons. Those are buttons. Buttons. Yeah, that's a big red button. Can you say hi to Grandma? What? Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Mom. Hey, can you sing? Mom. No, you don't do it in there. Can you? You want to sing ABCs? ABCs. Let's sing it. Let's sing it. Okay. A B C D E. Mom. What? Mom. Man. There's no man in there. You want to listen to it? You want to listen to it? Yeah. Andy likes to listen to the tape recorder. I think he's kind of amazed that these voices come out of it, right? Uh, Are you amazed? Dad. Dad. Yeah. Amy. There's Amy. Who's in that picture? Dad. Amy. Dad. See Sarah. Oh, get it. A B C D E F G. A B C D E F G. When Andy sees writing, he says A B C D E F G. He knows uh. that's the A B C's. You want to go back and listen? To Rachel? Huh? You want to listen to Rachel? Okay, maybe I will we'll go back and listen a little bit here. Okay, I will go ahead and talk a little bit here. Um, I mentioned this is Sunday night. Um, today it uh, turned quite a bit cooler from what it has been. We've had really been having pre really pretty nice weather. It gets, it cools off at night, but then during the day, uh, it, it's been fairly nice, like it's been in the, kind of the middle 60s or even maybe a little bit above. Supposedly, it's starting to turn a little bit uh, colder. Now, the leaves all of a sudden just kind of like turn, seems like really quick. There were some leaves that had fallen, but not really not really a whole bunch well right now all the leaves are orange they really are pretty around here we have a lot of different kind of trees the uh, there's a dogwood tree that we have out here it's really pretty and there's some really pretty ones like up at church on the way to church that are really neat we have some really neat ones on our property too I am uh, Saturday I topped some trees we're trying to get some of the trees that we have to get a little more bushy rather than just kind of growing straight up. And uh, there's a walnut tree, kind of a black walnut tree. The, the shells are so hard on it, you, you really, they're so hard to crack, we don't even bother with them. But I topped that and then a plum tree. Uh, we're going to have a lot of pine needles this year. Boy, there's really a lot. We try to each year rake them up and burn them. We didn't do that for a long time, and uh, boy, the, it's such a thick layer. I don't know if you can hear in the bathroom there, Andy is, I, I don't know whether he's singing or what. You like those cars? Big car. He, uh, he likes, couple of the cars that we got him. One is like a little, well, we call it a fire truck, but actually it's a, well, it's like one of those vehicles, I think, that probably came when you broke your hip. It's like one of those emergency vehicles that they have, and I guess the paramedics use them. And uh, they're, uh, these little cars that we get him are called Hot Wheels. They're made real sturdy. They're metal cars, little metal cars. 
and uh, they're made real sturdy. Uh, boy, he's been playing with those really a lot. He's kind of easy right now to please. Um, Amy is gonna. Uh, Amy has to do these exercises. They're tongue exercises that she's doing right here. She's doing really good. The whole purpose is to get her tongue. Her, she has what is called like a lazy tongue. And uh, these exercises are designed to strengthen it, really. So she does these every night. And uh, so that's what she's doing right now. I'll, uh, I'll have her talk when she's done with them. Bonnie has to do some things with her. And uh, then she'll be in right now. We had a really kind of a, a neat service tonight at church. We There's uh, been uh, a couple of young fellows. One guy is, well, like he has some kids. He has a kid three years old and then a baby eight months. He just became a Christian recently. And uh, and then another young man became a Christian. And so they were, they were baptized along with a, a friend of Amy's. Her name is Christy. And then they interviewed uh, on communion, uh, when we have communion, our pastor lately has been interviewing before the communion uh, couples within our church. And he sits at this little table and the, the husband and the wife are kind of on either side. And they really, it's in, what they do is they just kind of give their testimony. And uh, this... Uh, fellow that gave his testimony, he and his wife, he's a veterinarian. He just graduated in 1981. And uh, he's just been a Christian for uh, since July, or rather January of last year. And he really gave a neat testimony. He is a partner that he's uh, affiliated with up here, is a Christian. And uh, they're the family. I don't know if Bonnie has told you about them, the family that the little boy had uh, leukemia and had a bone marrow transplant in Seattle and uh, boy they have gone through so much you just can't believe it uh, they're really a neat family and uh, it was really really a neat service what's wrong Andy is it broke uh, let's see can't really think of too much here to say. Uh, school is going good. We're having conference week. It broke? It's okay. It's okay. We have conference week this week at school. Uh, the kids that I work with, I give the parents an option of... What? What's wrong? Your cars? They're fine. Your cars are fine. Yeah. They're not broke. Ow. Ow. Well, Andy has the obey stick, and he just gave it. He just hit himself and went, ow. ow. Needless to say, Andy knows what the obey stick is. Hey, easy. Ow. He wears those. He's wearing those pajamas, Mom, that... Uh, I believe you made them for Rachel. They're red, and you sewed some red socks in the feet. I'm pretty sure they were Rachel's. Well, he is wearing those now. The socks are still in pretty good shape. I think there's a little hole in one one of them, though. But um, they're still in pretty good shape right there. He, uh, he needs kind of something like that right now. He... Gets a little wild sometimes and kicks off the covers. It hasn't been really cold enough yet to, to uh, you know, maybe sometimes need those, but he wears them all the time now. Uh, I, let's see, I'm having a little time here thinking about what I could say right here. Maybe what I need to do is just stop and Amy's going to talk pretty soon and then Bonnie can finish it up. Well, this is Monday morning and uh, 
I'm going to finish up the tape so we can get it in the mail today. I also just got Amy's skirt ready to mail to you, so I'll send the tape alone so it can get there a little quicker, I think. Do you want to talk to Grandma? Yeah. You want to tell Grandma about your cement truck broke? Yeah. Tell Grandma it broke. Oh, want me to fix it? Nope. <laughs> Andy's uh, favorite word is nope. Not no, but nope. And uh, yesterday he got in trouble with Dean, and Dean was really giving it to him, and he said, do you understand what I mean? And he just said, nope. <laughs> and uh, Sarah had to leave because it struck her real funny. But anyway, um, when we yesterday, the weather, I think Dean told you, got real cool here. And um, this morning we woke up. And there was snow. I can't believe it. I don't know if it's ever snowed this early. I know one year it snowed on Sarah's birthday, which is in a week, so that was almost as early, but this is really early for us. And it is, it is really cold out. No, this isn't a man. This is a tape recorder. Oh. And um, there's just a light layer of snow, and it's real cloudy, and it's supposed to snow down to 2,000 feet, which would be almost a Placerville. Oh, yeah. So, Dean was not too excited. He is not looking forward to winter at all. He really um, got his fill of it last year. I kind of still get excited when it snows, but I, I didn't dare act like it this morning when he saw <laughs> um, Our old stove is sure working good, and it's nice and warm in here. Um, We've had just beautiful fall weather for a couple of weeks, and, you know, we knew it couldn't go on and on. Go, go, go. Well, Andy's going to give me competition here. He has about, I don't know how many cars now, probably about 20 of those little ones. And uh, they were all kind of, he plays with them on this bed that's out in Dean's room here. And uh, yes, last night when we got ready to go to church, they were kind of just sitting all over that couch all different ways, and he went over and had to line them all up facing the same way. So I think he's going to be a little more like Dean than like me. Um, but, boy, he just plays for hours with these cars. And if he's not playing with them, he gets the Christmas catalog and just looks at all the pages of cars in there. So he's pretty easy to amuse these days. Well, uh, tonight I take Amy down to her speech thing. She only has three more sessions for this uh, semester and then we start after Christmas again and she's doing real well. I, I don't know if she really is conscious of it. She can talk better but it's still not automatic with her. But she really is trying, you know, without me reminding her she's doing it. So they say that's a very good sign. And uh, she's doing all these tongue exercises. <laughs> she has to swallow water and uh, when we go down there they... Um, we're in Rancho Cordova, which is outside Sacramento, and the water is nothing like we have. You know, our water is so good here, and um, so she almost gagged. On, she has to drink about a quart of water during this session they do with her, and it's just all getting her tongue right when she swallows. And she said, boy, could we bring our water, own water next week, because it just makes me almost sick. So last week we brought a quart jar of water, and they really laughed, and they said they better not taste it anyway not want to drink their water. The ladies that work with her are real nice. Um, there's two of them. And there's there's speech teachers uh, within the school district down there, and they've specialized in this one problem. So they're really good. They're pretty demanding. You know, if you don't practice, they really make you feel bad. And Amy's really been good to practice. Um, well, let's see. What else is new? Um, my mom got back from her Tennessee trip and really had a good time. She, I haven't seen her, but I talked to her. She called me when she got back. And uh, while she was back there, she bought a Scotty dog. And uh, she, he's a purebred. And she said it was a real bargain because she got him for only $190. He was supposed to be worth 400 <laughs> But uh, she's been saying for about six months now she wants to have something around her house that breeds and uh, 
she wanted a little clean dog that she could take to the gallery. And uh, she always says, like Scotty dogs. I don't know why. I don't, I'm not too crazy. Well, I'm not a little dog person. I like big dogs. But anyway, um, she said he's really smart. And, uh, <laughs> and she talks about him like a grandchild or something. You know, she really likes him. So she warned us that he'll be accompanying her whenever she comes to see any of us. Oh, and he just smashed his finger under one of his big metal cars. So he needed some sympathy. Yeah. Tell Grandma you broke your cement truck. The back of his cement truck snaps off, and he, he knows that I can fix it, but he keeps saying it's broken, and he kind of laughs. And if I fix it, he gets real mad, so he wants it. he wants it broke for some reason. Uh, anyway, we haven't seen this new dog yet. He's all black, and uh, he's only four months old, so he wasn't housebroken yet or anything. So uh, all I can say is my mom wouldn't have done this if my dad was around. <laughs> he was not an animal, especially in the house. That was... He and I, that was our biggest problem when I lived at home, was I was always bringing home animals, and uh, he was always making them strangely disappear, so. Uh, anyway, she really, she says she just wants some company, so I can see her point there. And she has a nice yard for a, a dog, uh, especially if he's not big, because it's, it's all fenced in. And so I'm sure he'll, I just hope he's not going to be the kind that kids make him nervous, because if dogs aren't uh, around kids, it kind of gets to them. So I don't know how he'll be when we all descend on there at once. Um, she, I think her favorite, one of her favorite things, she, they stayed at this Grand Ole Opry Hotel, which is right across from the Grand Ole Opry, and it was real expensive, but this uh, Dixie was on a convention and had expenses paid, and so my mom just had to pay a real small amount. And uh, she said, boy, it was really an experience to stay there. And then they went to the Grand Ole Opry, and they went around on a tour to see all the homes. And she said it was real cool back there. Um, she said she just expected it to be warmer than it was where she lives, but it was a lot colder. And uh, she was gone, I think, 10 days. And uh, just really had a good time. Her galleries. What? Oh, Andy has his trucks. You want to tell Grandma what you did with the trucks? They're all lined up. Oh, your cement truck broke. Oh, he's got his trucks lined up in a perfect row here, so. Broke Yeah, his tanker broke, too. He sure loves that truck. Well, van and a trailer. And uh, he's sleeping with, he has two that he sleeps with, and he just holds them real tight. And um, he just really, I don't know how long this will last, but it sure is nice because these toys are very portable. We can take them with us everywhere. Well, I had Andy's picture taken right on his second birthday. Oh, there's my phone. Well, that was our phone, so I don't, I kind of lost my train of thought here. I better play back and see what I was talking about. Well, I just started to play it back, and my phone rang again. So, I will. I'm now. I'm have it plugged into the kitchen, and I'm standing right by the phone. If it rings, I don't have to run. So, I was way out in Dean's room. Um, well, I wanted to tell you how much we like Rachel's quilt. Um, I felt bad because I just took down her twin bed, but she has it. On a, we just moved yesterday a trunk that was mine from when I went to college, a real big trunk, and they keep a lot of stuff in it, and she has it on top of that, like for a, to cover it up, because it's not that neat looking, and she has it folded so all the different, the boys and the girls show. <laughs> but, um, boy, it's really a nice size now, and I'm sure eventually we'll switch things around again. I keep switching. Uh, I wanted to have a double bed for when we have company, and the way it's turned out is Rachel's sleeping all the time in by Andy, so she isn't on Amy's bed, and um, she she just likes it in there, and Amy likes sleeping in a double bed because she likes to hug, so she and Sarah are in there. 
especially since it's cold. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure we'll be switching around and she'll be able to use it on her bed eventually, but um, it's really neat, those little boys, and the colors just match so well that you added. So thanks, I know that was a ton of work. I gotta take it over and show Mrs. West. I was telling her about it. Um, let's see, what else? I had Mrs. West, Janice had to work on her birthday and over at Mrs. West, so I invited them over for lunch, along with Janice's sister Shirley and her mom. And we had a real nice time. They, they don't, you know, didn't stay very long. Mrs. West gets a little antsy, but she really, she, she ate okay at lunch, and then she said she was real full. And then I made these real good cookies that are like cheesecake. And I brought those out, and boy, she really ate those. <laughs> all of a sudden, she got hungry again. She just has a, she just wants sweets all the time. So, you know, at her age, I think she should have whatever she wants, you know. Like, kind of like Dr. Lockyer. I don't think it's going to hurt her to eat junk food at this stage of her life. She's really doing real well and looks good and is in real good health. Um... Uh, What else has been going on here? Um, this Saturday, we're taking our, you know, we go to the rest home every um, Saturday, or every second Saturday of the month, and so this one coming up is uh, our time to go, and really enjoy it so much. Those people, the only hard thing is, is when we go around to, after, when we're ready to leave, we all go around and shake hands and talk, tell them goodbye. And there are sometimes 30 to 40 people in this big room. And uh, they'll say, now when will you be back? And I just hate to say a month. You know, it sounds like forever. And uh, this one lady says, oh, can't you come sooner? And just, I know it is a long time, but it's hard to get the kids together for once a month. And then we take... Uh, cookies and boy they really like those. My kids bring homemade cookies. Um, we sing and this week uh, Sarah and a Amy are going to do their Onward Christian Soldiers duet and another little girl is going to play this portable um, kind of like a marimba but it's like a xylophone. And you know just a little bit of variety. And then one girl sometimes plays her flute. And they just really, we kind of do the same songs over and over. And they they just like us coming. And Andy's really the one they like because he just, he just goes right over to them. And they all want him to come over to by them. And he does, he kind of goes around and isn't afraid of them like some of the older kids are. They get kind of self-conscious. But it's really been a neat uh thing for the kids as well as me and Dean too. They all think Dean's a preacher there. <laughs> he always tells them he isn't, but then every time somebody will say, now are you the preacher at the church? And he has to explain who he is again. Our pastor goes down there too once a month, and so they've a lot of the people have connected him with us now and have told him how much they like all the kids coming. So next month we're gonna make real special Christmas cookies and do a lot of Christmas songs when we go down. Uh, let's see. Oh, and for Sarah's birthday, right after we go to the rest home, we go at 1:30. Um, then we're gonna go to um, Sacramento. I'm gonna take Sarah and a friend of hers, and I'm gonna take Amy and Rachel, and we're gonna go see E.T. And then um, come home and have pizza. I'm going to make pizza and then have a little party here. So i got to go shopping. I did. The other Saturday was a beautiful day. And I was going to go shopping for Sarah's present. And I hadn't been able to go on a walk all week. So I walked to... I decided I was going to walk to Placerville because there's a back way you can walk and it's real pretty. And I thought, oh, it'll be all downhill, you know, it'll be easy. But for some reason, it goes up and down, <laughs> and I'm still sore. 
It took me two hours, and I was really going fast, and I, I think it's probably about eight miles. I had one more interruption here, but I see the tape's just about up, so I think I better stop, and I'm going to wrap it up. And Marilyn and Janine, I guess you'll get this eventually, so I'm going to get back to my letter-writing routine here.